Do you recall the film The Pursuit of Happiness? The protagonist embodied by Will Smith transforms his life by securing a well-remunerated position. But suppose I hinted at the existence of even more high-paying jobs. Now, let's ponder. What drove his character to seek a high-income job? Was it simply about the money, or was there more to it? It's a fact that high-income jobs bring in substantial earnings, but they also offer more than just money. They provide a sense of monetary stability, the power to plan for the future, save, invest, and accumulate wealth. With that stability and wealth comes the liberty to pursue your passions, to live life by your rules, and to offer the best life possible for your family. However, let's be frank, high-income jobs aren't easy. They necessitate your time, vitality, and frequently, a significant educational and training investment. But the gains? They're substantial. Not just the financial gains, but the sense of achievement, the esteem, the ability to make a substantial impact in your domain, and the chance to mold the world in some manner. So why are we broaching this subject? Because, dear listeners, we are about to commence a voyage exploring the top 10 high-income jobs in the USA based on recent data. We will delve into the captivating world of anesthesiologists, corporate lawyers, investment bankers, surgeons, psychiatrists, airline pilots, chief executives, orthodontists, oral and maxillofacial surgeons, and medical specialists. We will decipher these roles involve, why they are so generously paid, and what you need in order to land these roles. We'll also sprinkle in some interesting facts about each of these professions to keep things exciting. Who doesn't enjoy a trivia nugget to share at their next social gathering? So, are you prepared? Have you fastened your seatbelt for this journey towards success? Because we're about to set off, with our first stop being the fascinating realm of anesthesiology. Ready to deep dive? Let's examine the first high-paying job on our list, based on recent data. Cracking into our top 10, we spot anesthesiologists. They've been the unsung champions of the operating room for years. Now, their role extends far beyond just putting you to sleep prior to your surgery. These are seasoned medical maestros responsible for administering anesthesia, closely monitoring vital signs during operations, and handling post-surgical pain relief. A true display of juggling multiple tasks, wouldn't you agree? These experts typically spend more time patients pre- and post-operation than even the surgeons. They're the ones assuaging your anxieties pre-surgery and ensuring you wake up in comfort. In terms of financial rewards, anesthesiologists are compensated well for their knowledge and pivotal role. Currently, the average U.S. anesthesiologist can expect to earn a substantial yearly income of approximately $386,000. Even though surgeons tend to grab the limelight, it's time to recognize these backstage champions, ensuring surgeries are both safe and painless. A commendable accomplishment indeed. To become an anesthesiologist, one needs to complete a four-year bachelor's degree, followed by four years of medical school. Afterward, a four-year anesthesiology residency program is required. This rigorous training journey is a testament to their dedication and skill. Moving forward, let's discuss a profession that is indispensable to firms of all sizes. Securing the ninth spot on our list, we have corporate lawyers. Think Harvey Specter from Suits. His intriguing role is about to be laid bare. Let's delve deeper into the realm of corporate law. Corporate lawyers, often referred to as business lawyers, are the stalwarts who keep corporations in line with the law. From creating contracts to handling crucial negotiations, they're the vital support system of any corporate organization. While their role may appear monotonous to some, it's anything but. They're the unsung heroes whose decisions often govern substantial business outcomes. Imagine having the power to approve or veto a multi-billion dollar deal. Talk about a nerve-wracking situation. And the compensation for such pressure? It's quite impressive. The median salary of a corporate lawyer in the United States is a robust $120,000 annually, as per the latest data. Now, let's discuss the prerequisites to become a corporate lawyer. It requires a bachelor's degree, followed by a three-year Juris Doctor degree from an accredited law school. After graduation, passing the bar examination in your practicing state is crucial. Some choose to further specialize in areas like tax law, intellectual property, or mergers and acquisitions. It's an intense journey, but well worth the reward. Next, we turn our attention to another career that's all about the bottom line. In our countdown at number eight, we have investment bankers. These are the real-life dealmakers of the financial world, 
Think of them as Gordon geckos without the illegal activities. Their role extends far beyond Wall Street of the movies. They are fundamental to our contemporary economy. Investment bankers are the key players who assist companies in raising capital, provide expert advice on mergers and acquisitions, and even steer companies through bankruptcy processes. Clad in sharp suits and with minds even sharper, they skillfully navigate the fluctuating currents of the financial sector. Now let's dive into the financial aspect. Based on recent data, these financial maestros earn an average of $250,000 annually. However, it's not all lavish parties and gourmet meals. Here's a startling fact. Investment bankers often clock in upwards of 100-hour weeks. That's right, 100 hours. Now, you may be wondering how to become an investment banker. Typically, it requires a bachelor's degree in finance, economics, or a related field. Many also pursue a master's in business administration, MBA. Additionally, experience in financial analysis, along with strong analytical and mathematical skills are crucial. So, if you're someone who thrives under pressure, has a flair for numbers and can endure long hours, this could be your calling. Next, we journey into a job that demands both intellectual prowess and physical strength. Securing spot 7, we find surgeons. They are indeed the rock stars of the medical world. Operating with precision, surgeons serve as the conductors of the hospital, directing life-altering procedures with finesse and expertise. These medical maestros typically focus on one specific area of human anatomy, honing their craft to an exceptional level. They could be the superheroes of cardiac health, the savants of neurological matters, or the guardians of spinal well-being. The diversity of their work is as immense as its importance. And yes, akin to rock stars, they have their admirers, though here it's thankful patients rather than hysterical fans. The latest data suggests that the average salary for these medical virtuosos is now a whopping $300,000 a year. That's quite an impressive amount for donning green scrubs, don't you think? However, let's not forget that the paycheck isn't everything. It's the passion for saving lives and making a measurable impact that truly counts. Becoming a surgeon isn't a cakewalk. It demands a rigorous educational journey that includes a bachelor's degree, followed by a medical degree, typically taking a total of eight years. After that, one must complete a five to seven year long residency in general surgery. Some might further opt for specialized training in their chosen field, which could add a few more years to the journey. Now, let's shift our focus to a job that's quite literally extraterrestrial. Sliding into our sixth spot, we have psychiatrists. These mental health maestros, the savants of sanity, stand out in the field of healthcare. Their pivotal role involves diagnosing and treating mental illnesses and disorders, which requires a mix of empathy, patience, and an expansive breadth medical knowledge. But before we go any further, let's take a look at their earnings. Based on recent data, psychiatrists garner an average salary of about $220,000 a year. A pretty impressive figure, wouldn't you agree? Here's a little nugget of knowledge for you. Psychiatrists stand out in the mental health field as they are medical doctors, specializing in mental health, enabling them to prescribe medication and provide a comprehensive range of treatment options, unlike psychologists. Now let's talk about what it takes to join their ranks. To become a psychiatrist, you'll need to earn a bachelor's degree, followed by a medical degree. Four years of psychiatric residency are required after that, where you'll gain hands-on experience. It's a challenging journey, undoubtedly, but the rewards, both financial and personal, are enormous. So if you're armed with the fortitude and an inclination towards this field, why not consider a career in psychiatry? Moving forward, let's explore a profession that involves a great deal of traveling. Securing our fifth spot, we have airline pilots. They are the maestros of the skies. These are the experts who assure our safe transport from one part of the world to another, commanding the cockpit, navigating through atmospheric conditions, and ensuring a smooth landing right on schedule. No doubt it's a high-stakes job, but the rewards are soaring too. Currently, an average airline pilot in the United States earns approximately $200,000 per year. And it's not all about the pay, they often get to globetrot without a cost. Imagine this, one day you're gliding over the Grand Canyon, the next you're relishing a pasta in Rome or dim sum in Kong, all expenses covered. But let's clear one thing, pilots are not just about flying. They are also expert communicators, decisive decision makers, and adept problem solvers. To become one, you'll need a high school diploma, a bachelor's degree, and a commercial pilot's license from the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. 
flight training experience is also required, and this can be acquired through military experience or through civilian flight schools. If you have a passion for traveling, an aptitude for problem solving, and can manage turbulence, this could be your ideal job. Now let's proceed to a job that's all about crunching numbers. Coming in at number four on our list are chief executives or more commonly known as CEOs. These are the powerhouses of corporate America, directing the course of entire companies and, by extension, entire industries. CEOs are tasked with the development and execution of high-level corporate strategies, making crucial corporate decisions, and overseeing the company's overall operations and resources. But what does it take to become one? Firstly, one often needs a minimum of a bachelor's degree in business administration, though many CEOs hold a master's degree or higher in a related field. Accumulating significant work experience, typically in a high-level managerial position, is also a prerequisite. Additionally, potential CEOs should have a diverse skill set that includes leadership abilities, strategic thinking, financial management, and communication skills. Now let's talk about earnings. As per recent data, the average annual salary for a CEO in the United States is nearly $250,000, but for those commanding Fortune 500 companies, this figure can surge into the millions. Here's a fun tidbit. A large number of CEOs didn't kickstart their careers in the corner office. In fact, they often initiated their journey in lower-tier management posts, demonstrating that with dedication, aspiration, and strategic career advancements, one can ascend the corporate ladder to very top. Moving on, let's explore a profession that's all about crafting beautiful smiles. Ranking third on our list are orthodontists, the maestros of the dentistry world. Often referred to the architects of our smiles, orthodontists greatly influence our everyday lives. These practitioners specialize in the alignment of teeth and jaws, enhancing not just our appearances, but the efficiency of our oral health too. Through the use of braces, aligners, and numerous other dental appliances, they weave their magic to craft the perfect smiles. The expertise they bring to the table isn't attained easily. After earning a bachelor's degree, aspiring orthodontists must first complete a four-year dental program to acquire a doctor of dental surgery or doctor of dental medicine degree. Following this, they undergo an additional two to three years of specialized orthodontic residency training. The journey is a long one, but the rewards are significant. As of recent data, the average salary of an orthodontist often surpasses $225,000 per annum. Orthodontics is an ancient discipline with roots that trace back to antiquity, making it the oldest specialty within dentistry. The art and science of aligning teeth and jaws have come a long way since then, thanks to continuous technological advancements. That intriguing? Now let's proceed to the top two high-paying jobs in the USA. Securing the second position, we have the oral and maxillofacial surgeons, who offer comprehensive care extending beyond tooth extraction. The term surgeon often brings to mind images of a bustling hospital operating room. However, did you realize that some of the most sophisticated surgeries are performed within the confines of your mouth? That's correct. We're referring to oral and maxillofacial surgeons, the virtuosos of the jawbone, the sages of the wisdom teeth. These healthcare practitioners are proficient in addressing a multitude of issues impacting the face, mouth, and jaw. From the extraction of wisdom teeth to reconstructive surgery following a mishap, these surgeons have it covered. The realm of cosmetic surgery is also within their purview, where they work to rectify facial abnormalities and enhance appearances. Let's delve into compensation. These dental wizards make an impressive average of around $243,000 a year based on the latest data. Here's a captivating fact. These surgeons not only fulfill their dental responsibilities, but also tend to facial injuries, bringing back the joy of smiling to their patients. Moving on to the prerequisites to join this high-paying profession. It requires a solid commitment, demanding a bachelor's degree, followed by a four-year dental program to earn a Doctor of Dental Surgery, DDS, or Doctor of Medicine in Dentistry, DMD. Post this, one has to enroll in a four to six year oral and maxillofacial residency program. Upon completing this rigorous training, a state license is mandatory to practice. Now to unveil the top paying job in the USA. Our first place honor goes to medical specialists, the maestros of their domain. These individuals have meticulously sharpened their abilities and acquired a wealth of expertise, establishing themselves as sought-after professionals in their respective areas of medicine, be it cardiology, neurology, or any other specialized discipline. 
Now let's delve into their earnings. According to recent data, medical specialists in the USA, an average annual salary that easily crosses the six-figure mark. But it's crucial acknowledge that this income doesn't come easy. It's a result of unyielding hard work and steadfast dedication. Here's an intriguing tidbit for you. Medical specialists typically invest over a decade in education and training. Yes, you heard it right. More than 10 years of rigorous academic study and experience is required to excel in their field. The journey might seem lengthy indeed, but the ultimate reward is a fulfilling career that's not merely about the lucrative paycheck, but also about making a profound impact on people's. It's worth mentioning that to become a medical specialist, one must obtain an undergraduate degree, clear the medical college admission test, MCAT, complete a four-year-long medical school degree, followed by a residency program that could last anywhere from three to seven years, depending on the specialty. So that's our roundup of the top 10 high-income jobs in the USA. Which one piques your interest?